Okay, there's there are situations where you might want to know what lies ahead of your party. Inventory use a player. Ah, okay. Certain enemies may force you into combat if they spot you, and you happen to be within their danger zone, represented by a red circle around the enemy symbol. A closed eye means they that you are safe, while an open eye. Oh, okay, I see. Means that any movement within the danger zone will trigger a battle. So then, I guess I don't want to go there. Okay, let's see if there's anything actually there though. Actually, never mind. No, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> oh, another crate. Nice. Okay, camouflage. This crate contains camouflage. This camouflage enables you to ambush your enemies or sneak past their danger zones. Many camouflage durations on the upper right corner of the screen. Okay. Well, let's go look around. You never know. Like they do, It does say that it might show or it might not. Okay, I'm kind of wondering what would happen if you actually do run out of AP. You approach your enemies while camouflage allows you to ambush them. Ambushed enemies will begin combat with a reduced number of activations. Right now, however, you can choose to fight or simply carry on. Uh, yeah, let's fight him. Might as well. Let's get some more experience. I'll probably just complete the tutorial though, guys, and then show you guys more later on. But I kind of do want to show you guys this cool game that reminds me a lot of Darkest Dungeon. Alright, uh... User not in required position. Oh, so she's got to be in the front. I see. Oh my gosh, she got crit. Okay, I might need to just heal him. Or I could move him, but... He just got critted. Okay, kill two enemies within a single turn. He deal 40 damage within a single turn. Wow. Okay then, so... With her, I want to... Be you. Okay, push an enemy back one tile. Huh. Never mind. This resilience for each subsequent target. Let's move you to Oh really? Oh okay, I got I got an idea now. Okay, so you I want you to shoot him back one. There we go. Now I can use the other guy to move him back. There we go. Okay, so I gotta do 40 damage somehow. 
in a single turn. I don't know how that's gonna work. Does 10% less damage to each subsequent target. Penetrate 10% less resilience for each subsequent target. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Got it. <laughs> okay, now I gotta kill this guy, or at least do a little bit of damage to him. Alright, now I can probably kill them both in the next turn. Twelve to eighteen, that'll be enough. Oh, I failed it. It missed. Ah, uh, that sucks. I should've just waited for the shotgun. I mean, the rocket. Sheesh. The rocket had a better chance of hitting than that. I should really pay attention to the accuracy also. General supplies crate. Uprising currency, okay. Okay, you have found the third type of encounter, narrative event. Narrative events are short text adventures which offer high experience points awards. Alright. So I think we want to actually go up there. Oh, another one. Okay. Okay, looks like it is time for some physical exercise. The best way to your objective leads through a fence. Fortunately, it is quite low and unassuming. And your entire team should handle the climb with ease. Okay, dangerous choice. Certain choices may result in negative consequences, such as a health loss or death. But what? If <laughs> risky choices are marked with an icon? Wow. Okay, you lost one health. Okay, the obstacles is handled quickly and painlessly, almost. Which, while climbing, one of your teammates happens to accidentally cut their leg on a protruding part of the fence. Nevertheless, it is only a scratch, and so you are able to return to your duties without delay. Wow. Okay. When, okay, whenever a yellow arrow appears next to your party icon, it means a priority objective is close. Discovered priority objectives are marked like an example below. Not all missions have priority objectives, but if they do, such objectives are required to complete the mission. Let's get this one done. Okay, as the uprising reveals itself across the city, there are some. Oh, there are still those out there who happen to be caught between a rock and a hard place. Civilians. You notice one such group in the streets. Their fear and uncertainty obvious at first glance. If they remain here, they will likely get hurt. However, you suspect that a sudden panic may lead to some difficulties in communication. Okay, certain choices may require passing trait checks with one of your characters. All such checks are clearly, clearly marked in the text. Dexterity and intuition. To complete a trait, check you need to pick a character first. As success chances depend on a character individual characteristics, it is important to keep them in mind when composing a party. You can calm them down, urge them to find shelter, forcibly eject them from the area. Let's go with that one. Let's let her do it. Nice. Okay, so that the group does not appear to be all too willing to listen to you listen and so you are forced to leave them be. Oh. Never mind. We failed that.
Okay, I guess let's keep going then. Another fight. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, this tutorial will explain the advanced mechanics of combat. You may skip if you wish, but it's recommended for first time players. Okay, combatants on both sides occupy tiles on one of two horizontal lanes. All targets attacks from the other lane are considered flanked. Receive 15% less. Oh, bonus damage. Wait. Um, all target attacks from other lanes? What? Okay, note that this applies both to your party and enemies, and does not apply to enemy heavy weapons or armored units? What? I'm kind of wondering how that one worked. I was like, how is it flanked? Hmm. Okay, let's choose. Okay, target the rifleman. Single shot. Do. Okay, now select Kazmir's. It is time to use a buff. Okay, which I did before. Okay, skills can apply an array of buffs which are displayed as icons near combatant's portrait. Select the icon displays the tooltip detailing buff effect and remaining duration. Each activation and each new round decrease the duration counters. Okay. Resist. Okay, some skills can also apply debuffs. Burn and bleed inflict damage over time. Blind decreases the target's accuracy. And suppression prevents the target from performing skills altogether. Like with buffs, buffs each activation and round decreases the debuffs remaining duration. Try and apply a debuff to your opponent now. Okay, Kristoff. 80% chance to apply bleed. Select Fletch Dindar. He's no more than 25 units of short ammo. Can be healed. Alright. Okay, each party member comes with a predefined melee skill. Each such skill deal minor damage but do not cost ammo. Some melee skills allow you to reposition targeted enemies. They are great tools for finishing your enemies, moving them out of cover, or into range of your most powerful attacks. Ah. Pull an enemy three tiles toward the user. Drag. Ah. Wow. Man, they better let me heal him, he's about to die. Combat speed and retreat. You can increase the speed of all combat animations by selecting the speed up button in upper left corner of the screen. Okay, square. If you ever need, you can retreat from battle. To do so, select the retreat button from upper left corner. Remember that your mission will end in failure if you do so. Ah. Now win the battle and good luck. Okay, so I need you to heal this guy. Oh, thank god, it was 20. Uh, you? I want you to move over here so you have some cover. Oh, 
trzeba to opatrzyć. To him again. Trzeba to opatrzyć. Okay, turn four. Okay, you cannot do anything there. Do. everyone move. 68%. Wow, no wonder. Hmm. Oh, that's their stats, I see. I think. You missed again? Trzeba to opatrzeć. I really need to get rid of one of them. She has nothing. Nice. It's really weak at the moment. Do. Imagine if I get someone killed in the tutorial. That's gonna suck. Okay, your party members will begin every battle in the order specified for each mission, regardless of any in-battle movements. If you ever need to adjust your party deployment during mission, you can do so by selecting the party order icon next to your inventory. I guess I'll just leave it like that. I have no clue. Okay, so that's the final one. With patrol gone, your team should have a clear path for now. Okay, having emerged victorious from the fir their first real engagement, your team descends into the city's sewer network to reach the rally point. There is little time to celebrate, however, for the hard part comes next. The uprising is now in full swing. The long battle has begun. Let us proceed. Okay, when all it trophy earn, mission accomplished. Nice. Okay, when all objectives are fulfilled, an icon will appear in the upper left part of the screen. You can keep exploring the map, but losing a battle will fail the mission regardless. Wow. Okay, when you're done, select complete mission to return to your hideout. Alright guys, so uh, I'm just going to call it there. I think this video was probably a little longer than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe if you guys want more. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, remember gamers, keep on gaming. Take care. Everybody.